this guy is controlling his friend like a video game character. This thing is so cool and I so want to try it. I would put it on all of my children and see if I could get them to do chores. Hey, it's bedtime. <laughs> we went to meet Alan to find out how he made a sci-fi superpower into an awesome reality. I made it out of a remote control toy car, basically, and now I can remotely control people who agree to wear this thing. Talk with me. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's so bizarre. The reactions were actually uh, very fearful. People didn't like the idea of messing with someone's brain. So a lot of people were sort of like icked out by the whole thing. They thought it was kind of scary, uh, which I think is really funny. <laughs> what are you doing? It's controlling us. Oh, wow. So how can you take over someone else's mind? <laughs> Alan is controlling his friends using their vestibular system that's responsible for balance. Small canals in your inner ear move fluid around, and as that fluid sloshes back and forth, it excites hairs which send electrical signals into the brain. Alan's helmet is able to override those signals. Okay, oh, okay. Two copper-plated electrodes are fitted to the side of the helmet, ready to shock the wearer. By hitting the left button on the remote control, the electrical current is sent to the right side of the helmet. When this happens, the brain tries to compensate by leaning the body in the opposite direction. Alan's helmet is able to trick the wearer into believing that ground is in a different direction. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, gosh. If all of a sudden the ground shifts beneath you, you walk in the direction to try and stabilize. I'm being pulled. <laughs> I'm being pulled over in that direction. Being able to push left on a joystick on a controller and then seeing the person in front of you immediately start turning to the left, um, it's, it's kind of a power trip. <laughs> Thanks, Alan. We'll let you get back to abusing your power over your friends. 